Hi everyone, welcome to Husai's ROS driver and SDK tutorial videos. In this video, I will show you how to use SDK. First, let's download and compile SDK code. Open browser and go to Husai's official GitHub site. We have three main SDK projects. The Husai LiDAR General SDK is for the newest models. Pandor 40 SDK is for the older Pandor 40 model, and Pandora SDK is for Pandora. Open Husai LiDAR General SDK project. You can read the descriptions and instructions on the homepage. First, check the environment and dependencies. Besides the system environment requirements, there are also some library dependencies. Use the command below to install the required libraries. This may take a while if you haven't installed any of the libraries yet. Then go back to the home page and use the clone command to download the SDK code. After the download is finished, you should be able to see the Husai LiDAR general SDK folder. CD into the folder and we can start the compile process. Make a folder named build and go into this folder. Run the compile command for upper folder and then run the make command. The compile process may take a while. The compile process should be finished without error. If you have an error, check the system version, the compiler version, and the required libraries. You can take a look at our home page to learn how to add SDK to your project and how to develop based on the SDK. To test the function of SDK and also to show the code interface, a test demo code is also included in the SDK project. Go to the project folder and have a look at the folders after the compiling. You can find that there is a test folder generated. Go to the test folder and you can see the test demo code. The test demo code will show you the basic usage of SDK. You can also check our ROS driver code for more reference. In order to test the SDK code, first connect the LiDAR to your computer and configure the internet, as described in one of our previous videos. Then make sure the IP address, port, and model type are correct. After running, the LiDAR callback function will print the timestamp and also point size. Save the changes and then compile the project again. Go to the build folder and use the make command to compile. Make sure the IP setting is correct, the LiDAR web page can be accessed, and that we're receiving point cloud packets from the LiDAR. Then, in the build folder, run the pandar general test command. Now you can see that the timestamp and point size are printed on the screen. This means the SDK code has been compiled and is running well. Now you can develop your own applications based on our SDK. Alright, that's it for this video. See you in the next one.